My students are currently getting ready for their third, fourth, and fifth grade art show. And today I'm going to talk with them about how to turn in art for the art show. Their first step in getting ready for the art show is to complete their artwork. Drawings, paintings, and collages should be matted with a paper frame. Clay should be glazed or painted. Masks need to be off of the mask molds and need to be decorated. Weavings need to be taken off of the loom and loose ends need to be tied up so that the weaving does not fall apart. Sculptures need to be built to last so that when they are taken up to the art show or moved, um, they're not going to have pieces that are falling apart. The next step is for my students to fill out their WOW artist statement form. WOW stands for Wonderful Original Work of Art. My students have two forms that they can choose from. The green form is if they are going to be taking the artwork home, and the yellow form is if they are planning to submit their artwork for our art show. The artist statement asks for information about the artists. It also gives reminders about what to do before turning your artwork in and what to do after turning it in as well as asking for information about the process the artist went through and the ideas and where they came from. When students are done filling out the artist statement card, they go and get a title card to tape to the back of their artwork. There are three different types of title cards. The first card that you see at the top is the single artist title card. The second card is for group projects and has a little bit more room for multiple artists' names. The bottom one is a 3D artwork card, and that is for things like clay and sculpture. And once you have filled that out, I will be able to take that and set it like a tent next to the artwork, like this. Students should fill out the title card with a black pen and use their best printing. You can see here I've written in an example. The artist's name is Sarah. Her teacher is Anderson. She's in fifth grade. The title of her artwork is Flowers at Noon. Her media is what she used to make the artwork. So if it was a drawing that she did with colored pencils, she would write colored pencils and black pen. Then the last step is to tape the title card to the back or the inside of your artwork by rolling the tape like this and sticking it on. Once students have completed their work, filled out the artist statement and the title card, they can sign up to meet with Ms. Chamberlain. While they're waiting to meet with Ms. Chamberlain, they should be working on their next piece or another piece of choice. During the meeting with Ms. Chamberlain, students will review their artist statement, make sure the title card is taped to the back, and give themselves a grade for their artwork. After students have met with Ms. Chamberlain, they can go ahead and add their artwork to Seesaw. Please do not put your artwork in Seesaw before meeting with Ms. Chamberlain. This is an important meeting to go over what elements you used and share your ideas with her. In your Seesaw portfolio, please take a photo in a well-lit location. Usually taking the photo inside the art room works best. Then step to a quiet location to record your artist statement. Then add a text box underneath your artwork and label it as art show so that I am able to keep your art hidden until the actual art show opens. And then hit the check box and it will be say waiting for approval. At the last step is once you've got it all in Seesaw is to turn in your artwork and I will have a box for 3D art and a box for drawings and collages. This is a lesson on how to, how for third, fourth, and fifth graders to turn in their art for the art show.